Okay, cool. Okay, yeah. well, first things first, then. We're going to dive straight in, and we're going to focus, of course, on Bonded. Um, okay. How much of a different beast, in regards to your own personal feelings, is Bonded, would you say, when compared to the likes of your previous bands, Despair and Say Sodom? Uh, I think there's no difference in between, like, I mean, a bit, there, there's a, a small difference because it's kind of my own band now. Mm. Uh, in the previous band, I always been a paid musician, let's say. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and now it's really my, my own baby, like, like mine and Bernamann's. Oh, so you do see it that way? You do see this as more of your own thing? No actually not because we wanted to be a band it's not like in the previous bands mm -hmm. but we've we always felt like paid musicians and that was the big the biggest point actually the biggest problem we um we felt like paid musicians and we don't want want the others feel like that okay. to be a band and split everything which comes in and all incomes and and and, and all expenses we share between five so a literal unification of members, of people, equal partners. Yes, that's what we want to be. Well, that's fantastic. And I guess it kind of ties into the name of the band, one yes. that comes across that you're all united. But also, from a fan perspective, uh -huh. it, it, it unites us with you as well, e.g. we're all bonded by metal. Yes, that's true. That's true. That's what we wanted to... to, to um... That was the intention. Mm. Um, inventing the name Bonded. We we were just yeah we were searching for a name and we we came into Bonded because we are just five people. Yeah. Uh, really good friends, having beer together, partying together, calling each other every day. <laughs> so so we are really good friends and being in a band and that's that, that's kind of Bonded, right? Yeah, I mean, you sound so happy as you speak about it um it's enlightening to hear from my end uh, cool <laughs> yeah it is it is really we are really happy all of us i mean chris and mark the, yeah. the git, git, guitar player chris and mark the bass player they joined us uh, during the the time in, uh, in, in when we were in sodom they, they were our technicians yeah for a long time so we were bonded <laughs> already yeah. when we are in sodom. that's kind of yeah <laughs> So kind of you, crazy you, but you go way back basically there's no oh we just met you a year ago let's get to know you you already know them yes perfect we know them we knew them perfectly i mean we shared hotel rooms together we we slept in in one bed sometimes <laughs> because we have to share rooms and stuff yeah, yeah. that's amazing we showered together with <laughs> right <laughs> we did everything together we had lunch we had breakfast together yeah a little so, family. Oh yeah, it's still a family. Mm. I mean, Ingo, Ingo is a different part. He he went into the band because, like, uh, because of his voice. Yeah. We we didn't uh, know him before, so that was a bit different. But still, he's he's one of the band members now. Yeah. And he's he's a good friend now. Yeah, he's that, fitted that's right what, in. Yeah, that's what counting. Yeah. Um, we're talking about your musical style, thrash metal. Yeah. It seems mm -hmm. to have an infinite lifespan, no matter the changing sounds of the scene. It's always there and ever present. Is there a particular reason from your perspective that you think that is? I mean, we still do what we did in the last 20 years. Mm. I, I don't know. We, uh, thrash metal is part of my life. Like, yeah. not, not even the part, it's... It's part of my life since I'm 16 years old or 50 years old, something like that. And I never changed, I never changed my musical style or my 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 um, uh, uh, yeah my kind of music I'm listening to. Yeah. And I'm working for Century Media also, so I was kind of born in in thrash metal. So, and the others too. We yeah. we ne would never change the running system, I would say. <laughs> Well, yeah, your name is synonymous with that sound. And I think if you, although it wouldn't be a massive issue, if you kept turn around and were to do, I don't know, an experimental prog album, it might oh, yeah, raise that would an be, eyebrow. Yeah, that, would be, that, that wouldn't be 
<laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It wouldn't work at that <laughs> anyway. So, well, it's me- metal yeah. is all about experimentation. So you never know. You might be tempted to do something wildly different in years down the line. Yeah, it could be. I mean, with with despair, for instance, we did some some more complicated stuff. I, I would say. Yeah. Like it's it was a bit more not prog metal, but it was experimental mm. somehow. Sometimes we had uh, sometimes we had a uh, ten minute songs or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's not worth it anymore. Course, I don't know. We, we are too old. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are only a few days away from the release of the album Rest in Violence. Yes. Yeah. Are you looking forward to getting out there finally? Obviously, you've been working on it for such a long period of time. We want to go out. You mean you're going on tour, right? No, no. I mean getting the album out. Ah, yeah, it's it's uh, it's exciting for us. Yeah. Uh, just take takes a week now. Yep. Until the uh, release. Um, yeah, we are really excited. I mean, uh, all the um, reviews yeah. they were really good, most of them. And they even talk about the drums. That never happened before. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, <laughs> it, okay. It, nobody, yeah, nobody talked about the drums. It, it was always talking about uh, the vocals because Tom is, uh, was the main, mm. the main man anyway. And uh, in all the other bands, they were the, the main members. And now I'm kind of, like, let's say kind of the main member. And now okay. they're talking about the drums. It's, it's so crazy. Suddenly you're getting a little bit more focus, deserved focus. Yes. Yeah, 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 somehow. We'll I mean, from, for, me, yeah, for me, it's <laughs> crazy because I love that when, when people notice the drums well, somehow. They should be talking about it because your drumming on this album is exceptional. It is an absolutely <laughs> dominating sound. Thank you, thank you. You sound pleased, but are you pleased with what you did on this album? Oh, yes, I'm, I'm totally pleased. Mm. I mean, we, we took we took a lot of time to arrange the songs and uh, trying to focus on on drum fills and yeah. focus on on the rhythms and stuff like that. And and you can you can hear it on on the album that yeah. it's really, um, yeah, that's not a random idea. It's just focused on on the on the on the things, um, especially on 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 fill ins and stuff like that. Mm. Well, is there a particular track that you loved playing on or that you love hearing back now? Um, I think I love all of the songs because mm. I can tell you something. We wrote 43 songs oh, wow. in, in the two years. Yeah. And we chose, uh, we chose the, um, the 12 best all out of the 43. So... Mm. There's no song which which I don't want to play. I want to play all of them because I really love them and I play them around every almost every day. Yeah. Just to this, yeah, just to rehearse and and I love that tracks. Yeah, I mean it's it's interesting you say you had so many written because it's a very tight album in regards to how many tracks there are and it's clear just listening to it you've chosen the best of the best. Oh yes. That's what we did. I mean, uh, out of, uh, cho- uh, choosing um, twelve out of forty-three, it, yeah. it sh- should be the best of the of the, well, of the how, forty-three. <laughs> how do you go about choosing the best of the best? Is it a voting system? Does everybody have to agree, or does one particular member get the dominating like option? Now, it, it, it actually was Bernerman and me because um, nobody was in the band at that time. Oh, Bernerman and me. Cho- uh, um, choose the um, uh, chosen chose right mm. chose yeah um, a voting system like we gave numbers like notes for for all songs we mm. listened to it and said yeah, maybe that's a four or maybe that's a five or three or one so if it was a one or two we kept going on oh brilliant on that song. so that was the process actually yeah yeah okay so you really start to narrow it down. yeah so it Yes. Yeah. Mm. So this this is clearly a very exciting period for you. New band, fresh ideas, new fans to gain, that sort of thing, right? Yes. Um, yeah, we have to we have to get new fans because I don't know I don't I don't know how many fans or old fans from Sodom will follow us. We mm-hmm. have no idea. Um, it could be that that some of them like try to follow us mm. 
they will follow us. I I I don't know, or they want to be. I have no idea. It's, it's just very with, hard um, to say what um, the fan base will say. do. Yes, we have no idea actually. Yeah, and the thing is, like, oh, I guess within Thresh at least. Um, Fans, hardcore fans, seem to like the band they like, and any sort of deviation doesn't really fly. So it could be an interesting time in those first couple of months for yourselves, I guess. Yeah, it could. I don't know. You mean uh, the 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 um, the interest will be just a few months? No, I mean taken? at first. Um, though, I imagine there'll be a lot of fans who are saying, well, I'm not interested in this new band because I'm a fan of Sodom or I'm a fan of this oh, yeah. thrash band and that's it. And then as it's... songs get released and they see them on YouTube and listen to them on streaming, I think that's where the growth begins. Yes, that's that's what I think too. Mm. I mean, we, we, we see it on Spotify right now. Yeah. We're getting, we're getting more and more interesting because, uh, I don't know, the, what, what kind of uh, streaming... Uh, the, the people do I sometimes they just stream um, stream like uh, what's it called uh, the playlist of, of, of friends or something yeah yeah and they might, might find it this way I have no idea yeah I mean even playlists created by the whether it be the streaming platform or Spotify or an Apple Music one that's based mm-hmm. around thrash metal or I guess Century Media doing it that's a great way Oh yeah, we we did it already with Apple Music and Spotify. We mm. were on the metal playlist, in the thrash metal playlist somehow, yeah. and that was perfect for us. So yeah, people go to a gym and they hit that playlist, and that's yeah. how it works. Yes, yes. If... and and the, the, we did two videos, and they will they help us for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, of in course. Media got two million subscribers, and uh, there are some. Which which are interested in bond, uh, bonded right now, so it it will take a while anyway. Of course. So of we course. have to be patient. Yeah. Patience is the key. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, um, it is. What's the rush, right? <laughs> yeah. There's there's no no rush for us. Brilliant. In our review, so I'm going to read you a little bit of what we wrote. Now it's not live on our site yet. It goes live tomorrow. Uh-huh. Um, okay. But I want to see what you think. Um, we described the album as a modern thrash metal classic coming from artists who understand what classic means, but to call this a throwback would be doing Bonded a serious disservice. Would you say that gets it across accurately? Oh, yeah, perfectly. Okay, good. Because <laughs> <It's very>, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we really, when we, when we listened to the album and wrote the review, we were kind of, okay, this is thrash metal as you know it. However... This isn't an 80s, 90s thrash metal album. This is a 2020 thrash metal album. Oh, yeah, definitely. We, we, tried, we tried to keep it as modern as possible. Mm. I mean, we are, we are almost, I'm, I'm almost 50 years old and Bannerman is over, uh, 56. We are old, old geezers, but <laughs> <laughs> we... We like I don't know I'm I'm in the rehearsal day every uh, in in the rehearsal room every day to uh, a, a approach my playing and stuff like that. Yeah, and, constantly um, wanted to learn, right? Yes, that's what I do, and I, I still have a have a teacher, a drum teacher, where I'm going every every week. So I'm I'm developing wow. every day. That's fascinating. I mean, it sounds almost rude to a point, but when you think of a, a musician who's been in in the business this long, still choosing to go see a, a drum teacher, it's kind of like, oh, wow, why do you definitely. need to? You you always need to because mm. the younger younger guys now. My my teacher is uh, thirty five, so he's um, a very good drummer in the. Oh, he he's a very known drummer in the jazz or pop scene. Mm. So he he's a completely um, he's in a, a complete different. Um, scene yeah and you you learn from each other he learns to, how to play double bass drums and yeah. i learn how to play whatever i that, don't know jazz drumming or pop drumming blah 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 i think that he's, is he's, absolutely he's, fantastic i think people yeah. listening to this will love that as well hearing that 
at, as you say, your old geezer age, that you're still yeah. willing and wanting to adapt and learn new things. It's brilliant. Yeah, otherwise, you, you, I mean, otherwise you will, will stay where you are. Mm. And, and that's not good at all, I guess. No, I don't you think have so. To. You have to. You have to. Um, yeah, you have to develop. Yeah. Otherwise, you will just become a relic of the past. And people go, hey, there, there's that thrash metal band who occasionally released an album that's good, but they're not part of the modern scene. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So are you looking forward to taking Bonded on the Road, or is that something that's not on the cards right now? I see you have a couple of festivals lined up. Yes. Um, I mean, we want to play live as soon as possible and as much as possible. Mm. But um, now uh, people don't... uh, I mean, the booker, they're they're a bit bit afraid of booking us because Mm. they don't know how many people will show up. Fair. Could be that there are 50, 50 people showing up in in the UK, yeah. and the book has to pay flights and blah blah blah. So they're they're kind of um, a bit, um, how can I say, behind or whatever. <laughs> Nervous, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, I understand that. It, it's it why there's the nerves there, but. The UK particularly has a lot of love for thrash metal, so I kind of feel like if that opportunity does arise, you'll do very well here. I think so. I mean, we, we did very well with Sonom when mm. we played the, uh, the, the, the Underworld. It was yeah. always packed. It was amazing. I loved that. Yeah, that's exactly the venue. I'm in London, I, I have, yeah. so I know okay. the venue well. Um, when you say the Underworld, I picture Bonded. That's where you play, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think so. That yeah. would be not. Yeah. This would be the, the, the best option. So anyway. right now it's just those festivals and um, I, I, I take it you're looking forward to playing live, right? Definitely. We, we wish to. Yeah. I mean, as soon as soon as, as, as gigs coming in, we will play. Yeah. Def- yeah. Easy definitely. as that, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we hope that the book are going gonna to book us soon. I, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's see. We have to be patient anyway. Until the um, the release is um, uh, until the 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 album is released. Yeah. And after that, when everybody knows the song, the complete album. Mm. I mean, maybe that will help us. Yeah, uh, it's know. the key moment. Get the album out first. See what happens oh, yes. over Definitely. the next couple of weeks. Yes, we try to we try to um, uh, put it put the. the the upcoming show on the 17th, mm-hmm. we want to try to put it on, on the live stream on Instagram and Facebook maybe. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so everybody can, can watch it. And then we can prove what we what we actually do. That's incredible. Um, that's using the technology that's available to you now to the okay. best, I think. Yes. Yeah, so the whole, the whole world can watch it actually. actually. Yeah, because you see bands of, you know, festival headliners doing that and stuff like that and it's fantastic yeah. to hear you even thinking about that oh yeah we do we do definitely i mean it it will be the quality will be like um, a mobile phone quality but i don't care i mean as soon or as long as the fans can see it or watch it perfectly no yeah i agree considering how much mobile phone mobile phone footage just gets uploaded oh. anyway um, yes a live stream is wonderfully exciting Yes, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see uh, how the how the crowd will will react on that. Absolutely. So, talk about exciting. Then, is this the most exciting period in your career to date? Would you say? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Somehow it is. Yeah. I mean, I I did so many things with with Voodoo Cult and I played for Creator and blah blah blah. Yeah. But as I said before, I was always the paid musician. Yeah. And now it's a complete different thing. I have to I have to uh, take care about the finance, uh, mm. financial stuff. I have to take care about merchandise. I have to care to take care about that. I have to take care about getting vans for for the gigs and blah blah blah. All all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and find- that takes it takes it to a serious. Um, 
um, let's say, ah, it's a business. Yeah. yeah, it takes us to a business. Yeah, that's completely different. It, it is when you're effectively say a paid musician, you just turn up and play effectively, and yes. now suddenly this is your business. You are responsible for its success, and it's you know it's you know any issues that crop up, they're going to come to you. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, we don't earn we don't earn any money with that. Of course, but that's that's not the that's not the issue. That that's not the point. We we just we just want to do music and go on tour and play live. The money is a second thing. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's a useful thing to have to. You know, oh, of course. <laughs> you know, we need so, to have. It, otherwise, we can't go to the gigs. <laughs> of course, as simple as that. You've got bills to pay. Yes, <laughs> that's true. Right, Mackie, I'm going to wrap this up with you then, and we're going to end with this. If someone who knew nothing about Bonded and came no. up to you and said, sell me your a new album in just three words, what would you say? <laughs> in three words? Yeah. Three words? Fuck. Yeah, I know. Uh, fresh metal album. <laughs> There you go. It's perfect. Yeah. Exactly what it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'd have added in the word heavy. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash gbhbl as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?